Hi, I'm going to show you how to make a crochet flower blanket. I used medium worsted yarn, a G hook. The pattern is down below and this pattern can be adjusted with different types of yarn and you can go up or down on your hook size. Okay, I'm going to show you how to connect the flowers to make the blanket. Okay, so let's get started. To get started, you're going to slip knot onto the hook and start with the chain two to create your flower. You're going to work six single crochet in the second chain from the hook. And then slip stitch in that beginning chain to create a ring. You're going to chain three, then yarn over, insert your hook in the same stitch, pull up your yarn, yarn over, insert your hook, and draw up your loop for a total of four times. So that's two, and then three, and then four, then yarn over, pull through all loops on the hook, and then chain four. Slip stitch in the same stitch. And your first petal is going to look like this. Single crochet into the next stitch. Chain three, yarn over, insert your hook into the same stitch, drop your loop four times. So that's two, and then three, and then four. Yarn over, pull through all loops on the hook. Okay, so now you have your other flower that you made the same exact way with each petal, which is six petals, and you're going to insert your hook into one of the back stitches in the center of the petal. And then you're going to pull it through with your incomplete petal, don't complete the petal, and then you're going to chain one, and then chain three more. So that's four all together. Then you're going to insert your hook into the center of that puff flower right in the same stitch. And you connected it that way. And then you're going to single crochet into the next stitch and then create another petal. So you're going to chain three and then yarn over and insert your hook in the same stitch and pull up four times. One, Yarn over, insert your hook, drop your loop, two, and then three, and then four. And then yarn over and pull through all loops, and you're going to Now you're going to take that loop, and in that second puff stitch petal, you're going to insert your hook right in the center back loop and grab that loop and pull it through. In the center of that puff stitch and then you're going to do it the same way. You're going to chain one, two, three, four, insert into the same stitch. Now slip stitch. So single crochet in the next stitch and then chain three and then yarn over, insert your hook, drop your loop four times. So that's two, three, and then four. 
and then yarn over and pull through all loops on the hook and then chain four and then insert your hook in that same stitch slip stitch now you're going to continue with the next two petals to finish and slip stitch in the beginning stitch to end okay now you have the other two flowers here and then you're going to go into the next puff stitch that's next to the one that's connected already you'll start with two petals but one that's not completed and you're going to pull it through on the second petal slip stitch and then chain four, four and then slip stitch into that same stitch and then single crochet into the next so chain three and then yarn over insert your hook and drop your loop four times Now you're going to go into the center of the two flowers for your second connection because you're going to connect your petals three times on the flowers. So right in that center, you can go in between or under. I think it's best to go in between, but I went under. Now grab that incomplete petal, pull through, chain one, then two, three, and because you slip stitch you're going to chain three after that then slip stitch into that same stitch okay, you're going to single crochet into the next stitch and then you're going to chain three and then you're going to drop your loop four times so this is three and then four and then yarn over and pull through now in the next petal of your already finished flower you're going to go into the center so every time now that you connect a flower it will be connected three times one in the first flower then in the center of that flower and then into the second flower and then you're going to pull through So you're going to pull through that center of that flower and slip stitch and then two, three, and then four and then slip stitch into that petal and then single crochet into the next stitch and you have three parts of your petal connected and then you're going to work two more petals to complete that six petal flower. Now I'm going to show you how to connect your two petal flower again just so you're clear. So you're going to you have one petal already connected so the petal that's next to the already connected flower you're going to insert your hook into the center so it has to be the petal that is right next to the already connected. You're going to connect that second petal of the incomplete flower then you're going to chain four and then insert your hook into that same petal. Then you're going to slip stitch in that petal. And then you're going to single crochet into the next stitch. And then you're going to work a chain three and then you're going to yarn over. Insert my hook and pull up the yarn four times. And uh, this is my third petal and you're connecting on your third petal there. Pull through and then you're going to connect right into the center of the two connected flowers and that's just like I did the other time it's going to this is a repeat it's going to be done the same exact way so you'll grab that flower and pull it through and you're going to do it the same exact way slip stitch and then one two three that was a four with the slip stitch and then slip stitch and then you're going to single crochet into the next flower 
one, two, three, and then you're going to do your next petal and connect that one too. And this is a yarn over four times and then pull through all loops and don't connect it. Then on that next petal, right in the center, you're going to connect it. This is how you're going to do each flower from now on. And I don't have a pattern for uh, a border on these flowers. Then you're going to connect it one, two, three, four, and then slip stitch in that same petal. So you could try a border, but I don't have one. And then single crochet and repeat your two petals on that flower. And that's how you keep connecting your flowers, just like that. Okay, I'm going to show you how to add a flower on one more time. And you're going to connect your two petals next to a petal that is connected next to the right. So right in that center, there is a petal next to it that's already connected, so pull through. And then chain four. Slip stitch in that same petal. And then you're going to single crochet into the next stitch. And then you're going to chain three. And then you're going to yarn over and drop your loop four times. And then yarn over and pull through all loops on the hook. You're going to connect it in the center of those two petals connected and that's what you'll do for connecting any flower from now on is connecting it three times so it's connected once and then in the center of two connected flowers is the second part so pull through and then you're going to chain four and then slip stitch into that petal and then single crochet into the next stitch and then chain three and then yarn over and drop your loop four times and then yarn over and pull through all loops on the hook and in the next petal you're going to connect in the center that's the third time connecting once it's connected three times and then that petal or the flower is connected so you're going to connect it the same way. Pull through and then chain four. Slip stitch into that petal and then finish your two petals the same exact way. So single crochet and that's how you do your flowers for each time you want to connect. Okay, so thank you for watching and please subscribe.